In this video, we will talk about reliable data transfer using TCP. So TCP creates a reliable data transfer service on top of IP's unreliable service. And the way a TCP achieves this is by using pipeline segments, cumulative acknowledgements, and a single retransmission timer. Retransmissions at the sender are triggered by two events. The first is timeout events, and the second is duplicate acknowledgements. We will consider a few simple scenarios uh, at first, where we will ignore duplicate acknowledgements and ignore flow control and congestion control. So let's consider those simple scenarios. The first scenario is a lost acknowledgement scenario. So what, let's assume that A and B are, <coughs> are transmitting segments to each other using TCP. So A first sends a segment to B with sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data. The acknowledgement that comes from B is 100 simply because that it, an acknowledgement indicates the next byte that B wants to receive from A. Let's assume that this acknowledgement gets lost on its way from B to A. What A is going to do is, <coughs> is that it's going to wait. The timer is going to time out, which indicates to uh, A that the acknowledgement has gotten lost. A then sends another packet to B with the same uh, sequence number 92 and the eight bytes of data. Though B has received that packet, B realizes that the acknowledgement did not receive, uh, was not received by A, that is the acknowledgement was lost, and it sends the acknowledgement of 100 back to A. So this is the first scenario, where, which is the lost acknowledgement scenario. Let's consider the second scenario, which is premature timeout. Let's assume that A and B are once again connected by TCP, and first A sends a segment to B with sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data. A has a lot of segment, lot of data to send to B, so it does not wait for the acknowledgement to come back from B. It sends a second uh, segment with sequence number 100 and 20 bytes of data in it. Now B acknowledges, receives both these uh, segments and acknowledges both of them. Now delays at the internet can be unpredictable, and so let's assume that the acknowledgement does not get lost, but gets delayed. So it by the time it reaches A, the timeout for that uh, for the first segment has already expired. So what A does is it's going to send uh, <coughs> the say, sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data to B. Now the second uh, acknowledgement reaches A, that is acknowledgement equal to 120. What A realizes at this point is because it has received acknowledgement number uh, 120 that B has received both those uh, both these sequence numbers correctly and but so and it the acknowledgement of for 120 acknowledgement equal 120 is received before that uh, the sequence now the timer for the second segment expires so a does not send out a new packet the b receives is a uh, sequence number 92 with eight bytes of data one more time and now because it has received both these segments correctly what it sends, the acknowledgement that it sends back is an acknowledgement equal to 120. It does not send back an acknowledgement equal to 100. That's simply because acknowledgements are cumulative. It sends back an acknowledgement equal to 120 back to A because it indicates to A that, the, that it has received all bits up to 119 correctly and now it is waiting for byte number, bytes up to 119 correctly and waiting for byte equal to 120. Acknowledgements, the important thing to note here is that acknowledgements are cumulative. So though A received this particular uh, segment from uh, B, received this particular segment from B, which is sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data, because it had received sequence number equal to 120 bytes of data earlier, it sends an acknowledgement equal to 120 to A. Let's consider the third uh, third scenario here. The first, A sends a, 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 a segment to B with sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data. The acknowledgement from B gets lost. A in the meantime sends another uh, segment with sequence number 120 bytes of data. That acknowledgement reaches A before the time uh, before it times out. The, the acknowledgement equal to 120 indicates to A that the acknowledgement equal to 100 must have gotten lost somewhere, must have gotten lost somewhere, and does not care about that acknowledgement. Because the acknowledgements are cumulative, it realizes that B must have received all bytes till 119 correctly. So it does not it does not send the, uh, the segment with sequence equal to 92 and 8 bytes of data. Instead, it just sends the next uh, segment with sequence number equal to 120 and say there are 15 bytes of data. This is because acknowledgement equal to 120 indicates to A that all bytes before that have been successfully received. We will just conclude this discussion using with fast uh, retransmit. 
Now, it's hard to calculate the time more value for TCP. So sometimes, um, a time, sometimes a packet can be lost and the timeout period can be really long. So multiple, it is so this fast retransmit is is needed to detect back segments due to loss of uh, <clears throat> due, like due to loss of an acknowledgement and is used to do so via duplicate acknowledgements. So what does fast retransmit mean? Mean if sender receives three acknowledgements for the same data, triple duplicate acknowledgements, it resends an the unacknowledged segment with the smallest sequence number because it figures out that the, the, um, the acknowledgement was lost, uh, that it's likely that the unacknowledged segment was lost, and so it doesn't wait for timeout. So let's look at this example here. So host A is wanting to communicate with host B. It sends the first uh, segment with sequence number 92 and 8 bytes of data that's received at, at B. So B sends an acknowledgement with packet with uh, uh, as acknowledgement of 100. The second um, segment from A which is sequence number 100 and 20 bytes of data gets lost and the remaining subsequent three uh, 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 segments receive B, reach B. So B, because it had not received the, uh, the segment with sequence number 100 and 20 bytes of data, it keeps sending back acknowledgement saying that it's waiting for the segment for uh, for <coughs> for acknowledgement 100, with acknowledgement 100. It's waiting for this particular segment, though it has received their subsequent segments. When A receives these three acknowledgements, three back-to-back -back duplicate acknowledgements, it sends a sequence, it realizes that that particular uh, segment has gotten lost. So it does not wait for the timer to expire. It just sends that, um, that segment with sequence number 120 bytes of data to B. So even though this particular segment was lost and the timer did not expire, because A received three duplicate acknowledgements, it sends the same, uh, <clears throat> the segment with that sequence number to be. So this is fast retransmit. With this, I'll we'll conclude this segment and in the next lectures, we'll talk about flow control and connection management.